Okay, so tell us what it was like growing up technology then versus now. How has technology changed the world? My mother had a washing machine that you would put the clothes in, you'd agitate the clothes, then you'd have to take them out and put them in another clean water and agitate them, and then you'd have to wring them through a wringer to dry them out, so and then you'd hang hand? them all in line, all by hand. Made, a lady named Mrs. Cochran back east in Venice. Machines. So you had no washing machines. There was no air conditioning. You had to leave the windows open at night. Uh, it was hot. They you had to iron all your clothes. Ironing board, iron. Yeah, you had to iron everything. No, we had. How did you have TV when you were little? No, 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 no TV. TV. How old were you when the TV came on? It's probably. I was probably eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine. What, was it round, like, what was it like seeing a TV for the first time? They were black and white. There was no color. They were small, little tiny little pictures. Round. And the, the shows were like Captain Midnight, Howdy Doody, Howdy Doody Lone, Ranger, all that Lone Ranger, a lot of um, cowboy shows. There was one that I loved, Sergeant Preston of the Yukon with his dog King. And that's, I named my first son Preston after Sergeant Preston really? of the Yukon. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> you named Paula that's after funny. me. Paula was named after Paul. And Philip was because she liked the name Prince Philip and stuff. Yeah, so. mm. Prince Philip. So you were named after the. Norton. Did, then what about. You um, had to change your birth certificate. Telephones. Now. Telephones? Oh, the telephones. You had three or four people on your line. It was called a party out. line. And so you'd lift up the phone, and if another party was on the line, you'd have to hang up until they got off, or you could listen to their conversation and get all the gossip of the neighborhood, <laughs> which was a boatload of fun. And you didn't have area codes. And pretty soon, you'd just get a two-party line. So there was just two parties on the line, and then if you paid for a private line, you had to pay a lot more money. No cell phones. When color TV came out, it was amazing. You had to go, you didn't have movies, you could watch movies on TV or in your house, no DVDs, none of that. You'd have to go down to the theater and pay 25 cents to go to the movie. And then you could buy, for five cents or 10 cents, you could buy a sugar daddy that would last the whole movie. And then we would go over to ZCMI and we would buy Mother Goose for dinner, which was mashed potato, gravy, and a roll and a drink for 25 cents. And we had to ride the bus everywhere. We Five or to, ten cents on the bus. It was a 19, right after I got off my mission, we went to see West Side Story where Barnes & Noble is now in Sugar Hill. Yeah. And that's when we fell in love. And there was a lot of outdoor. Oh, one of the favorite things was to go to the drive-in movie. We'd take the kids and go to the drive-in movies, and there was a lot of drive-in movies at the time. And you'd, there were usually two shows, and the kids would fall asleep after the first show so you could actually enjoy the second show. And they had little concession stands. You could go buy popcorn and stuff, but it was usually a lot of money, so we'd take it in a cooler so the kids would have snacks. Uh, my mom and dad had a boat, so we took the kids boating, and they kept getting a bigger, bigger, bigger boat, and we'd sleep on the boat at Flaming Gorge or Powell. My dad had Did cars too. break down a lot? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the cars always broke down. Her dad fixed them all the <laughs> The brakes would go out, lots of brakes. A, he had a Phillips, it was a Phillips 66 station. Oh, yeah, right, my right dad. Kitty Corner from Pioneer Park. Yeah, he owned a. And I played baseball there. My first car was a 50 Plymouth red convertible. Paul had a Plymouth too that was his family green car. My second car was a 57 Oldsmobile white convertible with red leather interior. Fabulous car. Fast, fast. Super 8. Great car. Then I bought my Mustang, brand new, 1960. Six Mustang right off the lot. And Petty Ford where Walgreens is now. I was so excited. I sat in the car while they were getting it ready to priming it up for like a drive out of the car dealership. We had a oh. cute dog named Binky that was his mother was a pug, his dad was a husky. He was a beautiful dog. Uh, Paul had a dog that ate cereal. And Peppy. Peppy. Shake weenies and milk. Then we had Ouija. She was a poodle. The kids loved Ouija. Marie gave us to it, Marie Wallace. Yeah. And then we had a cat that we got from the farm. Grandpa Vern insisted we take one of his little white cats, Casper, home from the farm. Kids loved Casper. Then when Ouija died, Casper died, we got Chew Bear for the kids. Chewy. Mm -hmm. What was his whole name? I can't remember. Chewy Cato Beaumarche Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good dog. He, yeah. We finally had to put him down at like 15. Uh, Phil and Heather.